This is Witchbase News for Friday the 26th of July 2019. I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news, Professor Palin sets up shop again. Bases are established in the Witch Head sector but the Thargoids aren't best pleased. And Operation Ida puts out an urgent call for help. Remember to hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon to get a notification next time we upload a new video. You can also come and join us on the Burr Pit Discord server. This is where we organise all our outings as well as squadron and community events. And if you want to help support the work of this channel you can also join us on Patreon. Links to both of those as well as all our social media feeds are in the description below. And if you've got a piece of elite related community news you'd like us to feature you can email us via theburpit.newsdesk at gmail.com You may remember back in the mists of time last week the Xeno scientist and terribly useful engineering specialist Professor Palin's planetary base of operations on Maya A3A was attacked by the Thargoid menace that is prevalent in that area. Despite the good professor slash mad xenopath scientist departing with all haste the attack on his old base continues. As it happens it's actually a really fun encounter and a great place to plap scout vessels. Well after some initial getaway problems involving the professors personal megaship being utterly swarmed by waves of Thargoid scouts and interceptors oh for the lives of the rich and shameless he has now found a new home in the Ark system at Able Laboratory on planet 4E. If you've still not got your drives dirtied or cleaned and are looking to garner some of the professors oh so useful tech that's where you'll now find him. What happens to the professors now abandoned base in Maya? We'll just have to see. The currently in progress interstellar initiative known as the Enclave reached another benchmark moment this week with the establishing of numerous new bases and megaships in the Witch Head sector by all three superpowers as part of their ongoing joint operation to steal all the Thargoids cool stuff and kick over all their ant hills no matter how angry they get. Suffice to say the Thargoids aren't best pleased by Operation Decency Be Damned We're Taking Your Stuff and immediately retaliated in response to the colonial encroachment. As of this recording all the newly established starports are on fire and the newly settled in residents of the stations are now screaming to be evacuated whilst the systems they are in are under heavy Thargoid incursion. So that went well. If you've seen our sister show The Thargoid Report already this week you'll know that the independent pilots and the squadrons of the AXI, the Hive and the Hand have all mobilised to clear out the incursions with their usual efficiency. No small task. The Witch Head sector is around a thousand light years from Sol, there's no operational shipyards to move your ship to and combat vessels are not historically great at long distance trips. This could possibly be a great situation for a player owned carrier vessel. It's possible Frontier might be setting us up for future ranged combat expeditions. One final note, the post on Galnet that speaks to the updated situation in the Witch Head sector says this of the attached stations. Quote, All three superpowers are urgently requesting help to repel Thargoid forces from the Witch Head nebula. Without the galactic community's support these pioneer factions will be forced to retreat and vital supplies of meta alloys will be lost." End quote. And finally the station repairing heroes of Operation Ida have put out an urgent call for assistance this week. The strategically important starport of Silene Orbital in the Atlas system was knocked offline by Thargoid incursion recently leaving only two refinery capable starports in the Pleiades region that could supply the vital metals needed to bring the rest of the stations in the area back online in a timely manner. If those two stations are lost the trip to and from the nearest supplies in the bubble will make the vital job that Ida fulfills that much more difficult. With the Thargoids currently engaged in the Witch Head Nebula however Ida has a small window of opportunity to build some much needed redundancy into the area and serve to bring the whole region back online that much quicker. To that end 
IDA are asking for any and all independent pilots who are freight capable to head down to the Pleiades while the cat is away and help them get Silene Orbital back in the loop. If you're able head over to the Operation IDA Discord which I've linked below and give the guys a much needed extra pair of hands. That's it for now. Thank you so much for making it this far. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs Follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>